What's up guys, Brian Van Dyne here. For those of you that don't know me and are just now joining the channel. I try to do a live stream, but you know, out here, the cell reception really sucks. So I figured I would just do a video instead and get my point across to you guys. Um, so let me just start off by saying I got a text yesterday saying that they ran out of material at the plant, at the quarry. They're not gonna have any material till nine o'clock. That's when they're gonna start making it. So I was like, oh shoot, okay. And so nine o'clock is probably when most people would start their day. But I decided, you know what? I'll just show up early and you know, because of the way I treat the loaders, I have a feeling that they'll mix some up for me, or maybe they already have a little bit mixed and I'll get loaded and I'll be a couple loads ahead of everybody else. And sure enough, I was right. They had some mixed. And uh, so here I am, I showed up early, two hours earlier than everybody else. I'm already on the road hauling my first load when everybody else is probably still sleeping in. So what this tells you is the early bird gets the worm. The guy that is willing to get up early, the guy that puts in more effort is going to get paid more or sooner than the guy who doesn't. And it's just kind of, you know, one plus one equals two math and so it's not rocket science guys it's, it's YouTube you know I woke up early I got loaded early I'm gonna get more loads in so I make more money and then on top of that the pre the people in the rock quarry that are sitting in the office analyzing all the data they take notice of who gets more loads in, who, who is a more profitable hauler. I guarantee you they figure this stuff out. I guarantee you they, they figure that stuff out. Who shows up early, who gets loaded first, who hauls the most weight, They get, I guarantee you they know who's the most profitable. And uh, you know, that's who they hire. That's who they like to hire. So, you know, as an owner operator, you, you want to be the guy that stands out a little bit more than everybody else if you can. And it doesn't take much to stand out. It really doesn't. I just woke up a couple hours early. You know, I even slept in one hour compared to what I normally get up, but I still got to the quarry two hours early got loaded early now I'm on my way a lot of times when you have a job they don't want you to be there at a they want you to be there at a certain time because they're trying to keep the workflow on the job site, you know, they're trying to keep the workflow nice and even. Sometimes when you have jobs like that, then you, you just got to show up when they schedule you. You know, but five, ten minutes early, that never hurts. It shows your willingness to, you know, try and be a step ahead of everybody else really always seems to come back to benefit you. At least it does me. It benefits me every time. Yeah, I would say a lot of times if you're if somebody's scheduling you, probably best to show up when they say. It's 
especially if there's a lot of trucks on the job and they have everything just scheduled out perfectly. Say, hey, we got 10 trucks on this job. Everybody's gonna show up in 15 minute intervals. That way the job site just doesn't get turned into a cluster, you know. Then that would be the time to follow the, you know, follow the scheduling. <laughs> but if you're working for a rock quarry and they say, hey, there's not gonna be any product till this time, you know, probably, then you, you know, if you show up early and you get loaded early, then you get loaded early. If you, if you show up early and you just sit there, then you get to play on your phone for an hour or two, you know. As long as you're not in anybody's way, you'll be great. You'll be golden. We live in a society where medio mediocrity is pushed very hardly on everybody just do what's just the bare minimum and man I hate that attitude I absolutely hate it just do the bare minimum just do this I always try and strive to be above average with everything I do every time whether that's getting an extra load in working at longer hours you know, if I'm on a job site where we're on standby, I will I will get out of my truck and I will try and help with the job site flow. You know, I'll grab a broom and sweep. You know, because I'm, I've always been taught that you're no better than the lowest worker on that job site, than the, than the cheapest paid labor. You're not any better than them. And at the end of the day, you know, you can look at it as in, you know, usually, typically, when I show up on a job site, I'm one of the highest paid people that shows up. You know, dump truckers, we make a lot of money. We're one of the biggest expenses when we show up on a job site. Um, you know, compared to the other laborers, you know, for example, if you show up on a paving job site, you know, a lot of the laborers are making 20, 30 bucks an hour. They're not that big of an expense for that asphalt company compared to a dump truck that's on rent for $160 an hour, you know? And if you get out of your truck instead of just playing on your phone and you start, you know, pushing a broom around, start, you know, uh, you know, you grab your shovel and you help out. And if you're on standby and you're not wasting time, um, they do notice that. They notice that. And, uh, you know, the word gets around that you're not lazy, and uh, you're the first one they'll call. I'm telling you, if, if you sit in your truck and you dilly dally on your phone and you're not paying attention, and then when they need you, they're they're trying to wave you down, and you know they gotta send somebody up to your truck because you're not paying attention, you're sleeping, or you're on your phone. Dude, you're not gonna be their first choice. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. They always like people that are hard workers, that are willing to help with the job flow, and you know, people that show up early and they work the full time.